This is a mandala made out of bottle caps, mainly bottle caps. There may be a few things like some alto tins, but it's food, it's marks of food eaten, stuff consumed. I think I showed up with about 50,000 caps and I'm gonna try to use them all, but I don't know whether I will. I've been collecting for 10 years. I've got about 100,000 caps. This is the largest one. This one is the best yet. It's a beautiful space and um, each one informs the next one. I love the vulnerability of it. And then, you know, yes, it can be knocked down if you breathe on it too hard. I had a student with me all day yesterday and, and she was helped. I, I like to have people help me make so color choices. Yeah, as much as I can, but I am, the, I am the leader of the pack. Every day there's masses more. This is a poetry class and just some people that have been watching all along. I think there's power in what you collect. I collected these probably because they were colorful and they had that history of food. Oh, I have a huge collection of credit cards. I've been collecting those for about 10 years. And I make these small credit card birds out of them, but the big project hasn't happened yet. I'm just waiting for the time and the place for it. I've been making art since I was like six, at least. And that's when I began, you know, taking stuff and building stuff out of it. I've been doing a year without single use or disposable plastic. It has been such, um, kind of powerful to take that challenge and make it work. All the sodas and stuff in here are plastic and am I, go am I, gonna, am I gonna last till I get something that's glass or, or aluminum? And I have, I do. Will these all be reused for yeah. a subsequent project? Yeah, like they'll be collected and put back in their boxes by color for the next thing we're gonna do. I'm happy to go to the Smithsonian whenever they ask. <laughs>